Welcome back to Unstable TV! And you should do Irish Couple Reacts! And do stay tuned because this happens every week! So if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you! So in a previous video we watched the very first person to receive the Medal of Honor. So in this video we're going to watch the youngest living Medal of Honor recipient and this is Kyle Carpenter's story. So a very big shout out to everyone in our previous USA Reacts videos for suggesting this to us in the comments. We do appreciate you guys. So without further ado we're going to jump straight into this for ourselves and you guys. Let's go! Oh, okay. Beautiful Gordon. That's some spin on it. I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to uh, devote my life, uh, my body, if need be, to something greater than myself or any one individual. In 2010, I deployed with 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines to Marja, Afghanistan. We were constantly attacked, just like we were every single day for the entire deployment. The fighting was very intense, and it wasn't a matter of, okay, is it gonna happen, but just a matter of when. Myself and an amazing uh, friend and fellow Marine, Lance Corporal Nick Euphrasio, we were on top of that roof together. We were near the end of our four hour post position on top of the roof when the enemy initiated a daylight attack with hand grenades. Oh, oh my God. You would be though, yeah. in that position. I felt like I got hit really hard in the face. My vision was as if I was looking at a TV with no connection. It was just white and gray static. I thought about my family and how devastated they were going to be, especially my mother, that I didn't make it home from Afghanistan. And uh, I closed my eyes and I faded out of consciousness for what I thought was going to be my last time on this earth. Five weeks. Oh my god. That's awful. Three years. My injuries were so severe that still nine years later, it's hard to comprehend that I survived. The, yeah. the shock alone. Wow, that's incredible. I would encourage future generations. Not everyone has the freedoms and the peace uh, and the chance and hope for democracy that we have here. Don't go through every day just thinking that we're just here because we're here. You know, we got here because of um, incredible amounts of courage and sacrifice. The medal represents all who have raised their right hand and sworn to give their life, if called upon, for their country. It represents those who have never made it home to receive the thanks and recognition they deserve. Those who charged the beaches in World War II, froze while fighting in Korea, bled out across the lush fields of Vietnam, and those who never made it home because of another deadly blast in the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. Those who were tortured for years in prisoner of war camps and those who still rest in distant lands forever remaining missing in action. The medal represents the parents, husbands, wives, and loved ones 
who have heard the dreaded knock on their front doors to find a telegram or service member delivering the unbearable news. This is where the true weight of the medal is carried. Being a Medal of Honor recipient is a beautiful burden, but one I am honored to carry. First of all, a very big shout out to the original content creator. Do make sure you go check that out, give them a like, subscribe and share. And shout out to him for giving us life for the flag and the country that is USA and trying to keep peace and freedom alive. He deserved the Medal of Honor and it is horrifying to even think of what he went through and what he survived. To have flashbacks and be in shock like that from that and to survive the surgery like... You don't really understand what goes into it until you hear of these backstories and you kind of forget about like some soldiers don't make it home and how much it impacts not only the soldiers serving but also the families around them and just just how much it is given in return for freedom. Uh, so I've said this in a couple of um, military type videos before so I am going to say it again. You know, if you are going into a different country, regardless of what the reason you're going in for, you know, they are going to attack and you do kind of have to expect that. I'm not saying most people in the military do understand that as well. But that's, you know, I had to get that out there so I don't sound like a hypocrite not saying it in this video as well. Yeah. But it does say a lot about a person. Like, you literally hopped on the grenade to save someone. That's, I mean, again, like I was off for words in the other um, Medal of Honor story as well, like I am now. It takes a lot for, for a person to save somebody like that. Like it wasn't just, an, you know pushing him out of the way of a bullet or anything like that. He literally jumped on top of the grenade. Yeah. That's, I mean, he did definitely deserve the Medal of Honor for that, 100%. That's extreme bravery, you yeah. know. Absolutely. Like, he, he knew what came with that and to do that. Yeah. Like, shout out to him and his family. They must be very proud of him. Yeah. And the fact that he was there, he, first of all, the fact he survived and then he was in the hospital for three years afterwards, that's yeah. crazy. That's, that must have been... That must have been horrible. How was it like regain everything in your life? So of course, do tell us um, anyone who has served or is a veteran or anyone who's related to anyone in the army what the experiences are for you, you guys, and have you any stories mm -hmm. that haven't been told or you feel need to be shared? Like on now, not just America. Yeah, America, all around the world. America, if you are here, we appreciate you for coming in. Do tell us anyone from America. Tell, tell the young lawyers what's going on and anyone else around the world if your family serving or you've served or you're a veteran of course chime in here we want to hear from everyone so we'll have a chat with everyone in the comment section we want to hear your stories and what's going on and we'll conversate back and forth because we want to understand the people's perspective yeah. and that has been our two cents and we'll chop ourselves out of this as always you are the beautiful people of YouTube and we have been on Stable TV so drop a comment below and let us know what you thought of this reaction video. And if you have any suggestions for us to do, let us know too. And as always, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.